Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is David. This is where I do magic reviews. Hopefully you like magic reviews too. If you do, give the channel a like. Of course, you want to subscribe, come back. I always do giveaways. And so you can follow me over on Instagram as well. I do giveaways there as well. Giveaway magic, a giveaway playing cards all the time. Today, we're doing a magic review. This is Thinner from Mathayu Beach. Now, what is Thinner? Thinner is a shrinking deck routine. It's a shrinking card, stack of cards, right? Shrinking stack of cards that you can do right in front of the spectator. The only cover you need is your own hands. And it happens in four phases. So they see the full deck and then uh, there's one phase and it gets a little shorter. Second phase, it gets a little shorter. Third phase, it gets a little shorter. And fourth phase, it turns into four of a kind. Uh, in the trailer, they show four aces. And then uh, you just take the four cards and you stick them back into your tuck box, and that's the end. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? Uh, what's in the box? It's a little uh, see-through plastic acrylic box. Inside of that, you're getting the four gimmicks that you need, four stages, four gimmicks, and uh, you're getting a tuck box that's also gimmicked. Now, why is the tuck box gimmicked? Well, at the very beginning of the trick, Matthew brings out a tuck box and pulls the cards out. And once he pulls the cards out, he takes the tuck case and squishes it. So at the very beginning, the tuck case also shrinks. And then that's helpful because at the end, your cards have shrunk and you're going to stick them back in the tuck box and put it all away. So you're getting those two things, the tuck box and the trick deck. Uh, you're not going to have to build anything yourself. It's all built for you. It's completely a trick deck can't be handed out for examination at all. Um, and you're gonna get the download code to the video. The video is roughly 32 minutes long. Is it what I thought? I didn't know what to think with this because when you watch the trailer, uh, it's, it's cut in a way that you can't tell what's going on. And then whenever you see Matthew doing like the dirty work, he's clearly covering it with his hands. So it was hard for me to say, Oh, this is what he's doing. The only clues were in the write-up it says there's no palming and there's no ditching. Okay, there's no palming and there's no ditching, which means everything stays in your hand. Nothing leaves your hand. What you're seeing at the beginning of the trick is the same as what you're seeing at the end of the trick. So there I was lost. I was kind of a little lost and just looking forward to seeing what it was. And I think Matthew has come up with a very creative solution. How are the angles? The angles you see in the trailer are the angles that you have to perform it in. Uh, Matthew turns this way and he holds it this way and looks this way. So this is your angle. That's your angle. And you can't have anybody anywhere else. Uh, Matthew said that he uses this to close his magic castle act. So in that setting, you have everyone much further away from you and they all have the same angle. So that would be better. Can it be inspected? Just like I said, you can't inspect the tuck box, you can't inspect the cards. Uh, nothing can be inspected beginning, middle or end. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, Matthew is facing a mounted camera against a gray wall. He does have an accent. As far as what they're gonna teach you, there's a studio performance. They're gonna cover what's in the box, how to set it all up, uh, getting your card case ready and taking care of your card case, some card case care. He's gonna teach you an easy, no slights version. Then he'll teach you the version that he does. And then he'll go through an alternate handling an alternate ending where there actually is a switch and a ditch. Is it well made? It is well made. Uh, and even after he tells you what it is and how it's made, uh, when I looked at them in my hands, then I said, oh yeah, like, sure, I, I get it. Like, this wouldn't have been hard for you to make yourself. It just would have been very time consuming. 
How much practice does it require? Uh, the ad copy's right. There's no slights to this, hardly any slights. There's no palming, there's no ditching. That's true, unless you do the version that Matthew does. Um, I think the no slight version, though, is very rudimentary. It's very knacky. It's very kind of, it looks dirty in performance. There's gotta be a cleaner way to do this so that um, you, you can't tell what's going on. I think those of you who are better at, we'll say, cutting the deck in an invisible way. Mm -hmm. If you can cut the deck in an invisible way, an unseen way, a very fast, hidden way, you might be able to do this a little bit more beautifully. But Matthias is going to teach you a beginner level trick, like I said, a beginner level version and an advanced. So I think it's for all skill levels. How much setup and reset is there? There is not a lot of moving parts to this. Like I said, there's four gimmicks, four gimmicks, four things. They don't move or fall apart. So it's just putting it all back in the tuck box and you're ready to go again. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? Hey, this is the shrinking deck trick that anyone can do. Matthias Beach has created a very simple and very visual way of making playing cards disappear. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, with every trick review I do, I always tell you the good and the bad because, you know, I get these tricks for free and of course everyone wants a glowing review, but I need to be honest with you because this is your money. This is your money and I don't want you to be swayed by just a commercial. I want you to have all the info so that you can make the right decision and purchase the tricks that are going to work for you. Uh, the thing I did not like about this was the trick tuck case. I didn't like it and I didn't understand what the need was for it. Because at the very beginning when he does it, and, and bear in mind that he does this in a parlor setting, so the audience is further away. He takes the cards out of the tuck case, and then he takes the tuck case, and then he makes this motion. Squish. And the tuck case goes flat. You know if you didn't have the little glued seams on the side of a tuck case, it would just fold flat. That's what boxes do. Boxes can fold flat, and it's not magical. So to take a tuck case and funnily, is that a word? <laughs> to, to humorously squish it and say, oh, the tuck case went flat. Now I'll make the deck go flat. That seemed like it was out of order. If I were to do this and make this routine a little more streamlined, I'd probably add in a ditch and a switch because I think it's gonna work better that way. I would have a normal tuck case. Okay, normal tuck case. And I would slide all my cards out of a normal tuck case. And I wouldn't do anything to it. I wouldn't call attention to it. Because you know what? The tuck case is not the magic that I want to focus on right now. So I put the tuck case away. And I come out with my cards. And then I do, start to shrink it down, right? And now the audience is now on board. They're like, oh, he's shrinking the cards. Okay? So the cards are getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And then I end up with four cards. And it was an, this was another... Uh, negative for me. In the trailer they show four aces, I got four of a kind. So I got like four nines or four sevens. So when you order this, you're probably not going to get four aces, okay? You're going to get four of some other face card. So I think when people see four cards, they don't register, oh, I want to see four of a kind. I think they want to see four aces or four kings, right? Or four jokers or something like that. But four threes, right? It just, I don't know, it seems a little weird. So you shrink the cards down, then you have your four cards. You're like, ooh, four cards. And then you're like, oh, wait, I got to put these back in a big tuck case, right? So you go to your pockets to find the tuck case. And at this point, you ditch your gimmicks and you bring back out uh, a regular four of a kind. And then you bring out your gimmicked tuck box and you compare, compare, too big, too small. And then you go, you know what? Hang on, I can make this work. And then you take your tuck case and you go, oh, and then you squish it and you go, ah, now they're the right size, and then you put them back together. That makes more sense. Put the squishing box at the end of the routine, not the beginning. And the other thing you could do is if you did this close up or if you did this at a restaurant, you could also do another switch where you had pre-prepared a flat tuck case with the four cards inside, and then maybe with a book switch or a wallet switch, you know, with a flip, with a flip move, uh, then you just, hey, you can, you can keep these. And then they get a flat tuck case with four cards inside. And you're like, you know what? I, 
can't use my deck anymore. So, you know, this is the end of my performance. I can't use these cards, so I'm going to give them to you. And then they're left with this memorable thing like a flat tuck case with four cards inside. Like, what? I think I, that's how I would do it. That's how I would do it. Is it worth your money? It's 50 bucks. It is $50. These are handmade gimmicks. Mathayo has to make all of these himself. Uh, when you see them, you, you would agree. It's a very laborious process. I wouldn't want to have made this myself, but just know it's 50 bucks. All right, so who would like this? I think anybody that's looking for a shrinking deck trick and they're just not into card slides. They don't want to put the time and effort into uh, learning how to do something like this because some shrinking deck tricks are hard. They, they are hard. And so if you want that, you still want that magical moment, but you realize you know, your own skill level and you're like, you know what, I just, I want something simpler Then I think thinner would be perfect for you. Or if you collect shrinking deck tricks, or if you collect things from Mathayo Beach, of course, you're going to want this as well. All right, so that's everything I can say about Thinner from Mathayo Beach. I, of course, want to thank Mathayo. I want to thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I can do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it wherever quality Murphy's Magic products are sold. Thanks. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.